Hi ladies, I'm doing this video to introduce you to the new dev kit for Akeruka Heads. This, the, this dev kit is for advanced series, so it's the newest Akeruka Head, okay? Forget everything you knew until now about the developer kit uh, for Deluxe and for older Akeruka Heads, because this one is another thing totally. It's way more easy and friendly and it have a lot of new options as Advanced Head have a lot of new options. So now on this video I will be doing the step by step about how to set up a, a head. Just a normal head that can be uh, just a shadow, just lipstick, or just FX effect, the one we will be seeing in the future. Or it can be a mixed hair, it can be a shadow lipstick and the lashes, uh, all things on the same hair. Well, let me show you how to do it. First of all, you will create a root cream, okay? And I will be creating here a fake hair just to, oh, just so we can see how the script works. So let me do some buttons for it, then we can set up more options. Multiple options on same head. So link the buttons as first, then link those buttons to the root cream, and that is set up your head. Okay. Of course, then you will do the graphic stuff for the head and so. On. Right now, I'm doing just to show how you will set up this hat. Let me change color to this so we don't get lost. Okay. Now, what we'll do is that we'll edit the herd and set up the rights. This is the first thing I do every time because I sometimes I can't forget about these and then people have problem because they cannot copy or they can not move the head on their window and the head get uh, covered from some other stuff and is not amazing okay now you will get this advanced uh, akiruk advanced dev kit 2.2.0 and you will drop inside of your head okay t it show here on the corner Dev kit memory, blah, 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 initializing and ready for setup. So, now what is the easy part of it? Uh, let's say we will do as first button and a shadow. What you will have to do is that click the control button on your keyboard and then you will just drop your texture on main HUD here and it show here pick your button you will pick the button you want to stop this one and it will open a pop-up okay it's not showing us first because it's not on uh, part of window i'm doing the record so i just drop it here then uh, let's continue uh, like i said this is an a shadow right so i will click a shadow and here another new feature from for a shadow layer. Now on a shadow you can do just the diffuse, that is the, the usual texture you use to do. But to this diffuse you can add also a normal map that will give a bump uh, 3D effect on texture. And you can add also the specular. So this is the one that is responsible for gloss effects. Now you can have gloss effects for the A shadow section. This is really amazing. But we are just doing a normal A shadow. So I will just pick diffuse. And this button is set up. Now let's say I want to do this one a lipstick because I want to do a multiple mix at the mixed head okay i will do the same thing let's see this is a lipstick i guess okay not a load because second life just love me 
Okay, C is a lipstick. I will get the texture, I will click the control on keyboard, and I will drop here main hub. Then I will click here, and it will ask me again what you want to do, and I will select HD lipstick. And then also on lipstick, see what amazing is now. We can do the diffuse, that is the usually texture you use to do. We can do the normal map, so you can do, you know, the lines from lips uh, as 3D effect, uh, so it's more real. And you can do the specular, so you can create gloss for your lipstick. But this one is just to show you how to do the HUD, so we will just pick the diffuse. And uh, like I, I'm not that much happy because I want to do more things. Then what I will do, well, this is bomb, but we will, uh, um, we will think this is a normal lashes, okay? Just to have a different texture. <coughs> I want this but button to be a, an A lashes. So I will do the same thing, control, then I will drop the texture here, and then it will tell me, pick your button, I will click the one I want to set up, and here, and then I will select the lashes. And also here, same thing. I will pick diffuse, and voila, is done. Now I'm finished with my, my buttons. I'm finished with my buttons or not. See, if I'm not happy with it, I click at it, it asks me, your button is already configured. Do you want to reset your configure? configure? So I will reset and, uh, for example, I will delete and I'll have to restart over again. So what I'll have to do is again to go Let's say, for example, you set up everything on your head, but uh, uh, you notice that the first texture maybe was not the right one, then you need to set up again. You don't need to do the head, everything from the start. You can just set up one button, you know? So I will just get this a shadow, I'll drop here, I'll pick my button, this one, because it's the one I'm reconfiguring. I will keep a shadow and again it will ask me what I want to do, diffuse and voila. Now let's say I'm happy with the hood, so I will just click it and will ask me again. Do you want to finish or you can sell this option? If you can sell, this means you want to configure any, uh, something else again. If you are done, you just click finish and voila, your, your hood is done. You can just take and uh, set up uh, and of course sometime well okay i didn't give the name to it but um once you are done you just set up as heard now like i did i did uh, let me deattach it again <clears throat> if you don't know how to set up the um the button, um, the HUD, as HUD on window, attach it on the window. You just need to right click, attach to HUD, then it will give you several options to where you want uh, where you want to attach it. For example, I have already some things attached on my avatar, but I like myself, I like to set up on the center and then I right click, I go on edit mode and I just move it. You know, I do this, but well, you can do like you think is the best way for you. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, helpful for you. And uh, this is just how to create a head, a cosmetic or skin, anything heard, head for your advanced heads. Okay. Uh, I will be doing uh, more videos for advanced designs. Uh, advanced head have really, really a lot of options now. So let's say see you soon. Enjoy.